So if you were to run Earth over a million times up to this point, maybe beyond to the end, let's run it to the end. Uh, what is it, uh, how much variety is there? You kind of spoke to this trajectory that the environment dictates like chemically, I don't know in which other way, um, spiritually, <laughs> like dictates kind of the direction of this giant machine that seems uh, chaotic, but it does seem to have order in the steps it's taking. Uh, how much, how often will life, how, how often will bacteria emerge? How often will something like humans emerge? How much variety do you think there would be? I think at the level of bacteria, not much variety. I think we would get, this, how many times do you say you want to run it? A million, a million. times. Um, I would say at least a few hundred thousand will get bacteria again. Oh, wow. Um, nice. Because I, I think there's some level of inevitability that a wet, rocky planet will give rise through, through the same processes mm -hmm. to something very close. I, I think, I, I, this is not something I'd have thought a few years ago, but uh, working with a, a PhD student of mine, Stuart Harrison, he's been thinking about the genetic code. And we've just been publishing on on, on that. Um, there are patterns that you can discern in the code, or he has discerned in the code, that if you if you think about them in terms of we start with CO two and hydrogen, and that these are the first steps of biochemistry, you come up with a code which is very similar to the code that we see. So it wouldn't surprise me any longer if we found life on Mars and it had a genetic code that was not very different to the genetic code that we have here without it just being transferred across. That's There's really some inevitability about the whole of the beginnings of life, in my view. That's really promising because if the basic chemistry is tightly linked to the genetic code, that means we can interact with other life if it exists out uh, there. Well, that's potentially. That's that's case. really exciting if that's if that's the case. Okay, but then bacteria. We, we, we've got then, we've got bacteria. Yeah. Um, how easy is photosynthesis? Much harder, I would say. 